Hey everybody, this is Shadesman in the house, and I'm going to make a quick video on how to install Quake Slayer's Testaments. Alright, let's go. So, um, if you notice, I already have Quake Spasm installed. If I go in the directory, it's eQuake, but it comes with it anyways. Quake, uh, see, Quake Spasm spiked, Quake Spasm. I have it on my desktop already. But we're going to go to the uh, Discord. We're going to go to, if I can find it, I have a lot of uh, things here. Okay, Slayer's Testament's Quake. Now we're going to go to uh, Releases. So these three things you got to install in order after you install the mod. This is the file here you want to download. The main mod. So we'll wait for that to download. It's about 15% done, I'd say. Alright, so while we're doing that, we. will download the three files. These three. Patch 2, Patch 3, Patch 4. Okay, Patch 2 is downloading. And as you can see, the uh, full beta file is finished downloading. So what we'll do, right click show in folder, double click on that, you extract this, see Slayer test, you extract it to your base Quake directory. In my case, it would be eQuake. I am actually going to say, in this case, you, you're going to say yes to all, but I already have it in there, so I'm going to say no to all, to replacing files. Because I remember I already have it, I just renamed the directory so I could show you how to install it. So that's done. So what you want to do is you want to check Quake. You should have a directory now called Slayer Test. This is in the Quake directory. See, there it is. So now we're going to go, we're just going to go to each of these patches. Patch 2. And again, just extract it into your Quake directory. Just overwrite everything. Patch 3. Extract again to Quake. Yes to all. Oops, and patch four. Yes to all. Okay, patch two, patch three, patch four. ST Eternal. I want to look for that file because I don't need it. Alright, so now that that's done, that's everything you need to install, what you want to do is you want to look for the shortcut or create one. That's Quake Slayer Test. Uh,
E Quake Run Slayer's Testament stop bat. Actually, I want the spiked version. Quake Spasm Spike. See Quake. Quake Spasm Spiked. Exe. You want to make a shortcut to that? Then do Space Dash Game Space Slayer Test. Okay, and the first time you load it up, you get this prompt. I would have to set controls, options, controls. I'm just gonna quickly do mouse two, back pedal is fine. Oops, there. Okay. And you have to set resolution and stuff like that, but see? This is where you should be able to load this map upon startup. Okay, so just to show you guys as well what's here. See that? That's the secret area. So you can go through, uh, you select easy, medium, or hard. Hurt me plenty is, see, easy is, uh, hey, not too rough. The medium skill hurt me plenty. Hard is ultra violence. And to access nightmare, you want to go into the main campaign portal. See, Act 1 is six, seven levels. This is, and Act 2 and 3 are just one level each or demos. So to access nightmare, see the letter N there? It's better to go up on this side. Boom, nightmare. Plus, this map is the introduction map. There's a secret here with a secret level. Master level, Welcome to Mars Redux. That's the same map as the first level of this campaign, but instead of like the weak monsters, it's filled to the brim with tough monsters like you find here in some of the challenge maps. Speaking of which, a good way to make sure you're upgraded, go to more maps. Oh yeah, this is a classic Quake campaign. Here's three modified Quake maps. Back up here. Down here is a classic campaign, seven levels per episode, episode two. These are like classic Doom Le whoops. Huh. Oh, I never realized that. <laughs> you know what that is? That's the door from above that lowers. Okay, interesting. Maybe I'll make a raise instead. And there's standalone maps here. Yep, I got the three levels here, Shadow Wood. Actually, yeah, I'll do this really fast. My servants can smell your blood, human. I don't know why I didn't do the voice. Right So that's how you install it, folks. There's other things you might want to do. So uh, right now, I'm gonna, I, I can't really cheat to make sure the other things are good, but yeah. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to delete that. I don't need that. I'm going to rename this to Slayer Test. Make sure the proper link works. This is Quake Spasm Spike, by the way. Okay, this is how it was originally. Huh. Because I already had it on here, I just did it to show you the install. 
I didn't want to overwrite my existing stuff. See, now I have it full screen. <laughs> Hopefully you can see this. I'm not sure if you can because I have display capture on. All right, so that's that. So basically, to create a shortcut, if you don't want to do the bat file, look for Quake Spasm Spike. That's the best version. If you don't want to do that, just do Quake Spasm. .exe. You'd right-click Create Shortcut. Yeah, there it is. Or right-click Create Shortcut. You go to Properties and then do Space Dash game space slayer test so you load the proper mod and that's what I have I'm going to delete that that's pretty much what I have here on the desktop with a special icon oh yeah create shortcut properties you want to change the icon you change icon and you browse for eQuake slayer test and it's actually in there slayer test ico Hopefully your install has it, but mine, I got it from somebody, I put it in the directory. It might be in there automatically, I'm not sure. But if it is, great. If not, you can still load it. doesn't matter, just for show. And, yeah, that's it, pretty much. That's all there is to it, to installing the mod and running it. And when you press F2 to do things like secondary fire, there's console commands and all that, but hey, it's easy to get up and running. I just did it in two seconds. Well, a few minutes, but you know. Shaveman, signing off. Peace.